Hey guys, my name is Vivek Sharma and today we can uh, cover this interesting problem that's called the balanced binary tree. So the definition of the balanced binary tree that where every node should not differ more than one, right? So let's uh, try to understand it here. Let's say I am having this binary tree 1, 2, 3. So this left height is 1 and right height is 1 and then the difference of the left height and right height is equals to 0, right? So if it is zero, then it's a balanced binary tree because it should not be greater than or equals to one, right? And let's uh, let me draw it again here five. So this height is two, left height is two, and right height is one. So if I do two minus one equals to one, so this is also balanced binary tree, right? But uh, for example, if I draw another uh, uh, thirteen, for example, on the right child of the five then the what is the height here one two three right so three minus one the two right so three minus one equals to two and two it's more than equals to one so this is not the balanced binary tree and in that case we should return false so that's the question that uh, that's the problem that we are trying to solve right so how we will uh, target this problem uh, the straightforward way might be just calculate the left height and right height and just subtract right but the important point is here that we have to uh, check for every node right depth of every node right that's the important uh, important uh, point here so it's not only root node but it's every node so i have to calculate the depth of one i have to calculate the depth of two five three thirteen everything right and it at every node i at any node i I get that it's uh, more than one differ its depth is differ more than one then it's not a balanced binary tree right so uh, let's start let's calculate first of all depth so let's create uh, the depth method and this is just traditional depth method that we already know like how to calculate the depth of binary tree so if we uh, if uh, you are not familiar that how to calculate the depth that's another problem on the same platform leadcode.com just search for the maximum depth of binary tree and that's the uh, that's the method that i am just implementing it here right so root equals to null return zero let's calculate the left side let's uh, let's call root dot left int right equals to def let's do root dot right and then basically return one plus math dot max left comma right so this will give me the maximum depth right and if i know the maximum depth then i can use it here right so if root is null then basically it is a balanced binary tree right otherwise let's calculate the left height by passing the left node and uh, right height by passing right node right and return if left minus right is less than equals to one right in that case what what's going to happen uh, this is the balanced binary tree the reason i am using the math.abs to avoid the sign because i don't care if it is negative or positive right i just need to calculate the number one right uh, it's it can be negative or anything depending on that uh, which one is uh, greater right so that's why i'm just using math.abs to avoid the sign now uh, because i have to do for every node right now i'm doing only for root but if i have to do every node what i will do i have to recursively call this method itself for every node right so root dot left and is balanced root dot right so what it will do it will just call for every root dot left and then again it will call root dot right and anytime if it find that it is not less than equals to one then it will return false otherwise it will return true right so let's go ahead and check whether it's working correctly or not okay we got some compiler error it should be true here let's see it okay so let's try to submit it so i tried uh, earlier as well but unfortunately the session got terminated so i am just recording it again so uh, let's see uh, what will be the time and space complexity in this case so basically time complexity will be 
will not be that much uh, efficient the reason is because i am just doing for every node so if you see here i am just calling the depth method and that's basically for every node root dot left root dot right i am doing for every node but here i am again passing the root dot left so for root dot left it's again doing the same thing and similarly for every node i am doing the same thing again and again similarly for root dot right so the complexity basically it looks like the n square right so it's n square right the space complexity will be the same it's o log n even if uh, i am iterating it again and again but i am using the implicit stack so internal stack is basically just uh, going till height only and uh, basically it's using just the maximum height whatever the maximum height it is there right so let's see if we can uh, improve the complexity here right so this is the top down approach where we upfront we are just uh, calling left and right and we are just uh, recursively calling for every node but what about if we in the depth method itself we just uh, figure it out if it is the balanced or not right in that case we don't have to go for every node right so if we do the same thing for in the depth method itself then basically we don't need to do it uh, n square times let's see how we can do that right so let's try to do that let's reset and uh, let's call this depth method right and uh, let's see private in depth so what our depth method does let's pass the node root and basically if root is null then go ahead and return zero right int left equals to depth this is root dot left and int right equals to what depth root dot right okay and now we need to calculate the depth right so return one plus math dot max left comma right right and here itself let's check if math dot abs if left minus right let's say if it is uh, greater than equals to one then go ahead and return some invalid number that's let's say it's return minus one right and uh, so return minus one this this is like invalid case right and the similar thing we can just check it here as well because it's recursively it's calling depth method so in that case if uh, it returns somehow here itself so we can check it here itself if left equals to minus one then what we want to do if left equals to minus one go ahead and return minus one right and uh, if uh, similarly if right equals to minus one then go ahead and return minus one okay so this way we are just checking the invalid case and we are returning minus one so in this case if it is minus one then it's invalid case if it is not minus one then basically it's the valid case so we can just check if it is not equal to minus one then it's the valid case otherwise it's the invalid case right so let's do that and here we are passing root so if root basically we are just going left and for every node we are just checking and uh, while checking itself we are iterating we are just checking whether it's a valid binary tree or not so let's see for the compilation error or then how it's going it's uh, working for this one let's see for the true case so let me copy paste this input itself let's try to run this okay so this is uh, returning false okay so let's see so left and root and then one plus uh, left minus right if it is greater than equals to one so it should be greater than one right so if it is less than equals to one then it's a valid case but if it is greater than one then it should be minus one right so that condition i had to rectify so now it's returning true that's good let's try to submit it 
right so it's accepted right so that's great and here we reduce the time complexity till o n right so time complexity will be order of n and the space complexity will be what so the space complexity we are still going till the height itself so it will be either log n or h right where h is the height or n is the number of nodes right so uh, i think that's pretty much but yeah we improved the performance a lot here because we are not doing o n square anymore but we are just doing it only linear time and during this iteration itself we are just checking whether it's the balanced or not okay guys thank you very much have a good one bye